Just recently, uh, someone asked me how you go about making like a little robot arm out of Lego. And I wanted to share a nice little mechanism I found out when I was a kid um, that saves on the amount of um, control you need in the arm. What you can do is combine the motion of lifting with the gripping. And you do this by detaching. So there's a grip on the end of this arm here, and there's the actual arm itself. But the actual thing that pulls is only attached to the gripper. So this is the base here. And there's a little blocking block in here. So as this falls down, it hits the block, and then that pushes the gripper open and lifts it back up again. So in a motion like that, you get sort of um, basically the whole the whole caboodle for free. I've put together a little demo here. It's very uh, a little bit cheesy, but um, you can practice picking up um, you know an object like this. What's happening here is the actual closing of the gripper is ensuring there's enough power there to lift it. So that's pretty simple. You can take that one step further with the gripping mechanism by, um, let's see what else I've got here. This arm here has just a simple gripper on one side. See what on both sides you can have a little um, cross beam at the top that causes both to change. So you can see here what's happened is I've got two little um, arms and they're connected effectively diagonally with two pins cause that to happen. And you can take that one stage further if you use gears. So this is the same again with the red beam pulling the blue, but I've got two gears in there which are effectively pulling it together. And a little tidy version of that even still is if you use the smaller gears here. It's effectively the same thing. Now the other thing I want to demonstrate with this is, uh, let's see if I can find the right pieces, here we go. So, there's my locking block in there, that stops it going down. Now, you can see that I haven't got any control over this. I could put a gear on here, but i lift it and it'll just fall down immediately. What you need to do is use uh, a worm gear. So here I've got uh, an a worm gear or impeller screw gear on uh, these, these two bricks here, and that's going to mesh with this one here. Now, by the nature of worm gears, they're locking in LEGO. There's a... Uh, enough friction in here to prevent this going backwards, so now I can lift this and it's not going to fall on its own accord. So if you combine that with this base, which I can't quite get on, you got a nice little crane. Now that's not necessarily limited to levers either. What you can do as well is start using uh, axles. So this example here is just one to close off with. Um, completely different, but what I've got is the same principle and effect. Um, an arm at the top, so I'd probably mount this uh, vertically, and there's a gear, there's a main shaft that's running down here which is turning, and that motion is running through the gears all the way to the end of these funny little kind of slightly comical grippers. And when the grippers have closed, the same thing happens. You see what's happening is this gear here, as they're closing, this gear here is pulling back this way. So when it gets to the end, when it locks into place, that motion backwards works in lifting the arm up. So that's just a really handy way of building little robot arms. And again, once again, you need to use a worm gear to make sure that locks. So if I put it on there, that gives you a nice control over... Am I putting it the right way? There we go, that's lifting and that's opening up. And that's that.